Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're actually going to do a little bit of customizing with this awesome, awesome fantasy horse paint kit. Ah, okay, I think it's pretty much open now. <laughs> so, come on out, come on out. I can't do this on my own, we need to have like a teamwork here. Woo! So there's the pop-out sheet. Here are the awesome, awesome, awesome fantasy colors. Here's the catalog that you get. Here is a instruction booklet. So, okay, basically it says includes five segment horses, one paintbrush, six paint colors, instructions. Other supplies that you need, you of course need a cup of clean water that I have right here, disposable plate to mix paints, if you have that, paper towels, clear nail polish to make the eyes look real, Krylon matte spray to seal the finish. I don't have, I don't have any like, yeah, matte spray to finish or seal the colors in, so... But that's okay, that's okay, it actually says in different languages so that's pretty cool okay so let's check out okay. Ooh, so this is the pop sheet oh my god you get like a cute castle a bunny a rainbow Ooh, on a cute little mushroom house okay so we're gonna just set this aside because we don't need that right now so let's take out these horses. Just take away this. Ooh. Just gonna one stable mate, two stable mate. Four and uh, five. Yay! So we got all the stable mates out. So here is one of the horses that you get. Oh, they're all stallions, but oh, they're just so adorable. Look at that flowing long mane. Just oh, the tail. This cute little foal. Aww. What else do you get? Oh, you get another beautiful stallion. Oh, just so beautiful. Ooh, he's beautiful. And the last one, I'm pretty sure, I'm just gonna call this a Mustang because I'm pretty sure like this is a Mustang mold. Because you see, it just looks so wild, you know, just like oh, so wild. They're, they're already primed, so that is really cool. So you basically basically can just start painting the horses. I not use the paintbrush that you get in the set. I will actually use the paintbrush that you get in the blind bags, uh, the paint kit blind bags. But I will, of course, use the fantasy colors. So, hmm, which colors should I use, like, first? Who, who do you think, or what, what do you think? How about we start with blue? Do you think that will be a good color to start with? How about we make, like, an all blue full? How cute will that be? be just an adorable little cute little blue foal this is actually a really really nice blue so as you can see our first layer is already dried so we're actually just going to paint layer after layer now remember guys that this is a creative project so you can paint these models just the way you want, okay? There's no wrong way or there's no right way of painting or customizing. It's your horses, you can do exactly whatever you want. I'm just 
doing this in case you maybe want a little bit of like inspiration to how you want to do your models so since we're waiting for the paint to dry we can color in this backdrop that it comes with so we can color in this cute bunny's ears I this is not a very good position for me to color in because uh, it's just a cute little wet bunny and maybe like a, um, a red a red mushroom Woo, just color in the backdrop so I actually went on um, briarhorses.com as I always do really. <laughs> And I saw that you can no longer buy this set there. So this set is no longer available on their website. But that is okay because you can always find it at other places. So no worries, but you can't get this set any longer at briarhorses.com. So I am basically just going to color in this mushroom, the castle, the rainbow, the little tree, and a little bush right up there until the paint is completely dry. So here I have one of the awesome stallions and we are going to paint the main and tail uh, green and uh, <laughs> it uh, took about like a million coats so it doesn't look very good. I think this is the model that I'm least happy about. As you can see, I haven't added any water at all. And you can kind of see the yellow paint through there because I kind of missed a little bit. It's really bad. The quality of this paint is... <clears throat> not good at all the only the only good paint in here was um was the blue and the black that was like the best that was like the best quality paint in there it's at least what i think so it just a do do la 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 <laughs> So I probably need like a, a million coats for the tail as well. So yay! So I'm basically just going to do this. So now I've just uh, dipped my paintbrush in some black paint that you get in the set. And I'm not going to paint the little hoobies. If I can do that so far away. That is that is the biggest question of the day. <laughs> Basically. So da 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 I did it. I did it. I've also already painted in the eye. <laughs> Sorry. I I did that already. So I first dotted the eye with some white so we'd have like white in the corner. As you see on most traditional models and uh, and th then <laughs> sorry um, just go over with black to give them a little bit of like dimension and I took a little bit of green 
on the muzzle since um, the face looked rather boring I would say um, to be honest when it was like just yellow so I thought if I added a little bit of that detailing it would be much better this is actually very far off <laughs> maybe not for you but for me this is very far away so and I'm just painting the last hoof and we are done if you can hear that annoying like squeaking sound oh no then that is the air conditioner and I am air condition and I am so sorry but it helps for the drawing time <laughs> ah! a lot actually as well Ugh, I did make a little bit of a rub there but that can be fixed so dun, 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 dun. here it is here is the model here is the finishing product so now I'm just gonna let these hobbies dry oh who is coming trot walking on and it is oh <gasps> it is this beautiful pink and purple horse so oh i just i really like how the fading was in in this the in this horse <laughs> I really like the fading on the legs. I think it was done a very well job on, on that. So I'm kind of giving myself a little pat on the back. And the tail and the mane is basically from the legs. And of course I have painted in the eyes. As you can see there is some eye detailing. It's First it is um, white and then it's black to make eye detailing and I painted um, the hooves black so here it is standing right there proud who is coming trotting on next <gasps> oh beautiful beautiful stallion oh, so this is the um, another stallion which is kind of like the other one uh, the legs are the same color as as the mane and tail and I really like this one I think it is a very cool mold I really like the mold I really like the, like a high leg and like the proud head and I really like it I think it's it just fell by. it just fell I think it is absolutely no beautiful <laughs> I think it's very pretty. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I think I did a very good job on this one. I really like the fading. The black was a very strong color. It was a very, very, very... Oh no, it's coming back like the wind. So if something knocks over, I am so sorry. <laughs> um, the black in the set was very strong. It had a very good quality and I really like that. But when the pink... When, the pink I'm so sorry when the purple had such a low quality it was a bit hard to make them fade because the black would just basically cover up the purple uh, I did the same thing with the eyes I painted first I first painted white and then black to make the eye detail like I'm me like and now everything is like falling over you see? <laughs> I'm just gonna let it be. Um, so here is he. Another Mustang is uh, this wild Mustang right here. He is blue in the mane and tail and the legs and green at the main body. And of course, it's the same eye, eye detailing as the other horses. First white, then black. Uh, same thing, the hooves are black. With this one it did not go very well with the paint as you can see there's a lot of like brush marks but the paint was so thin 
I was really starting to go low on on the green paint so I really have to make more more uh, thicker thicker strokes with that um, but so yeah it wasn't the best but the blue actually was really well I love the blue in this set it was a good quality blue actually blue and the black was the best in this set I think of course um but of course you might get a better quality than me but I really like him I think he looks absolutely stunning so maybe this is his fault so I kind of went a little crazy on this little guy I wanted like an all blue fault <laughs> as you can see I uh, and like I said earlier, I, I love blue. Blue is my favorite color. So whenever there's like blue, I'm like, yay! Because <laughs> I, I, I love blue. Um, the same thing with him. Or this little guy, girl. Uh, first, um, with the eye detailing, I did the same with this. As you can see, there is first a little bit of uh, white in the corner and then black. It is the same on both sides and as you can see the hooves are painted black and it was really hard painting this tiny little hooves as you can see this is my pinky and as you can see this hoof is tiny it is super tiny but I think it turned out really cool I really like I really like um and I really like the points of it too, so it's probably just going to stand right there. And then the project that took me the most time. It was horror for me doing with dealing with this yellow. Oh, it was such a bad color. Well, the color is it is fine, but the quality of it was horrible. I am so sorry, Briar, if you're watching this, though you're probably not. Uh, but the <laughs> the, uh, the yellow in this set, it was so horrible. I was dying, basically. Um, but the same thing here, the shading was pretty good. It was not the best quality green, so it was kind of hard painting it. Um, I did a little bit of green on the muzzle, because yellow was like... Uh, it was kind of boring, you know, so I kind of went a little bit of the green on the muzzle. And the same thing with this horse, it has green mane and tail, and as you can see here is the beautiful tail. Tail and mane. No! The foal! <laughs> here you can see them both, and I think they look really beautiful. The hooves are black, the shading, and the same with the eyes as the other ones. I... I really like this set and I hope you enjoyed this video even though it's probably like a million years long. I'm so sorry about that. I'll try to get better but it's really hard when customizing it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do make sure to give it a big thumbs up so you don't miss out on... Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> that was my shoulder. Um, so you don't miss out on any horse crazy videos because next time you see a video when it's customizing video, I will be painting the saddle bread from this set right here. So yay! So excited about that. So make sure that you don't miss out on that video or any other of my videos. So like I said, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment for what color I should do on that saddle bread because I have no idea and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!